Good morning. In this video, we are going to present you the Ishikawa diagram in the framework of our projects, Understand Industrial Management Tools. Let's define together what is the Ishikawa diagram. Ishikawa diagram is a casual diagram that shows the causes of specific events. Common use of the Ishikawa diagram is called its defects prevention to identify potential factors causing an overall effect. The major categories of causes of problem are sex, materials, methods, manpower, measurements, environments, machines. In each category, we find one or more of the main causes. Those ones are formed by secondary causes. This composition is found in every category. This representation allows us to find and to better understand causes of effects. Now, let's define the six categories of problem sources. Material is about raw materials, components, and supplies used for production. General materials used for business operation. Machines is about checking the facilities, stability, and functionality. Methods, production and support processes, research and development. Manpower. Whether the person's technology proficiency and experience are up to standard. Mother Nature, whether other natural and controllable events. Measurements, measurements include physical measurements, automatic sensor readings, and inspection. Ishikawa diagram is also called cause and effects diagram, fishbone diagram, or 5M. But how to use Ishikawa diagram? Firstly, the problem to be studied must be clearly defined. We must then search for all the causes and structure them around the Ishikawa diagram. For each main cause, find the secondary causes by asking the question why. Then make a vote with the team involved to highlight the critical causes and work on the three causes that gathered the most votes. Finally solve the causes. Why use the Ishikawa diagram? Ishikawa diagram can help in brainstorming to identify possible causes of a problem and in sorting ideas into useful categories. It is a scientific visualization and communication tool. Let's analyze together a fictional company. Here is our fictional company. The production manager notices a drop in productivity. Let's go for a walk in the workshop. First, we notice a material problem. Indeed, the machines regularly falls down. The parts coming from the supplier have a high non-compliance rate. That creates a material problem. The operator in charge of the machine is particularly irritated because the sound level at this station is very strong. It is a problem of environment and manpower. Moreover, the operator is often tired because the operating mode is not adapted. It's a problem of methods. Finally, at the quality service level, the control devices are not reliable. It's a measurement problem. Following this observation, a project team made up of the person concerned by the problems meets and organizes the problem around an Ishikawa diagram. With the help of a vote, the team selects the three most important problems and decides to carry out improvement actions. Let's check together if the concepts have been understood. How many categories are there in the Ishikawa diagram? There is six. Go to category of the Ishikawa diagram. The method is the right answer. Ishikawa diagram is a tool for communication.